Hello everybody, welcome back, Nooblet here. Um, I know it's been a while, we are doing an Ipsy Glam Bag. I actually did record a video for January and I'm gonna put a little sort of like a link to it. Um, I haven't uploaded it yet, I'll put a link up to it later. The video didn't come out all that great, I wasn't very happy with it. And um, then I got sidetracked, I've been trying to catch up on the Mass Effect series to be honest. And uh, yeah, so I actually recorded that right before I recorded the unboxing for the loot crates for January. Uh, so it's a couple of weeks old by now. But in the meantime, we are going to do the unboxing for the February Ipsy Glam Bag. There we go. I got to get caught up on all my stuff. And I'm going to put this over here because I don't want the mic to pick up all the glue. It gets very loud. Eh. Okay. So let's find out what we have this time around. Something feels hard. Oh, here's the bag. Oh, I like the bag. The bag is uh, just a denim bag with a little orange, you know, outline. So I like the bag so far, and it's got like a, a more interesting zipper again. Uh, I don't actually, I'm having a hard time grabbing this zipper. It's, see, it's, yeah, whatever. It's a pair of clips. What else is this? I thought this would be the, there's a brush. And so something outside the bag. Okay, so theme for this month is much love um i'm gonna guess as it pertains to the fact that it is february and you know valentine's day and all that fun stuff so there you go uh so first things first since it's not in the bag we're just gonna start with that it's a brush let's see i want to get it out of its plastic so you can actually see it lights tend to reflect the plastic a little bit Kind of liking all the collection of brushes I'm getting just from being subscribed to Ipsy because to be honest, I didn't have very many brushes. I had like a couple of sets and they weren't very good. So I do really like that I'm getting like all these brushes and I actually do need a blush brush. Blush? Yeah. I think I said that correctly. Um, so there we go. You can kind of... It's really hard to see the lettering because it's gold so the light's just uh, reflecting off of it. It's a Luxie 514. So let's put that off to the side. Let me put it back in its plastic. Put that off to the side there. Bye bye under eye illumination. You can sort of see it again. It's a very shiny package, which makes it really hard to put on video. But let me try to open it if I can. It's in French. Half of it is in French and it's a really tiny thing. So here's the packaging. There's my hands for, you know, comparison here. And then let me see if I can get this out of here somehow. It's a work in progress, people. Down? Up? Break it? I don't even know. Eh, there we go. I'll just pull it out. The tiniest thing here. Mm. There we can sort of see it. It's like really shiny. Um, what is it? Anti-aging and skin loving. Hydrolyzed collagen, peptides, hyaluronic acid, and antioxidants. It's your eight hours of sleep in a tube. Highly pigmented, it covers everything, won't crease or crack out, it's pretty nice. Clinically shown to make your skin look younger. Well, that's good. Additional shades available. What shade did they give me? I'm kind of hoping. I mean, I know I answered questions back when um, I signed up for this. Where's my knife? I had a knife on my desk and I don't know where it is. It has a little plastic. I wanted to see what shade it was, but I... Oh, wait, wait, it has a thingy. It's perforated. There we go. I can open it. Not easy to manage something this small sometimes. And I will, okay, it's, it's pretty, I think it'll be pretty neutral here. Eh. Let's see. Oh, it's really, really thick. I mean, like, have you ever put lipstick on your hand just to t sort of test it out? And it's that really thick original lipstick, you know, like the classic actual lipstick. That's sort of what it feels like. Um, I don't want to put it on my face because I just did my makeup. But it's 
I could see how it could have quite a bit of coverage. I mean, it's actually really thick and just like the little tiny bit I put on my hand, which I'm really thinking I should have put less of, is a... Uh... Yeah, I can see how it could be good coverage. Uh, hard to see how it'll be on my face. I think it'll be a good color, but I'll have to test that out maybe tomorrow. Let's continue. So that's two of the products that weren't even in the bag. Let's see what's next. Next is a highlighter. Bubbly. This sounds familiar. Didn't I get something called bubbly last time? Um, there you go. Oh, that was a pretty good... I managed to get the... Uh, why is everything wrapped in plastic this time around? I'm trying to get it out of the plastic and I don't have any knives on me. I'll be back. And I'm back. Managed to get this open on the way over here now that I found my knife, which I had left over in the living room. I don't actually remember why. That's not important though. So here we were with the highlighter. Um, again, it's pretty... It's what you'd expect out of a highlighter. Pretty neutral tone here, just slightly shiny. Let's see what it looks like on top of this. Maybe I can get the light to catch it on uh, on camera right now. So maybe not. Maybe it's a little bit too light. But it looks pretty good. And I could always use a new highlighter. It prevents me from having to buy one. It's actually pretty nice. I almost never have to go to the drugstore because I run out of something. It's kind of like, oh, well, you know, I ran out of this one thing, but I have this other thing I got in the Ipsy Glam bag, so it was pretty nice. Um, what else? Oh, just as, like this, uh, eyeliner, which I'm almost out of one of my black eyeliners, and I think this is black? Yes, black. See? Not that this is going to focus, because apparently I can't get it to focus, but... And I really... I'm better with sort of felt tip eyeliners. Um, ultra fine precision liquid liner. Otherwise, like if it's like the, you know that really soft brush liner, I can't do it. I fail at it so badly. Uh, wow, this is really like they really meant like fine tip on this. Let me see if I can get that. If you can see that it's uh, they really meant fine tip. But hey, I'm almost out of eyeliner and this looks perfect. Solid black, it's great. Although today I'm wearing, actually, speaking of things in previous boxes, today I'm wearing the green uh, eyeliner that I got a couple of months back. And uh, I realized that with the right colors, I can make it work on an everyday thing and I'm not particularly wearing a shirt today that would clash with it. So, you know, gray shirt, pink, that's light pink, that's really not anything, so. That worked out pretty nicely. And what is this? Rosarco Blow Dry Perfection and Heat Protectant Cream. No, I could probably use that. My hair's starting to look a little bit dry. I haven't been blow drying it, though. I've been uh, flat ironing it. So Apply one to two nickel-sized amounts to damp hair. Evenly from root to tip, blow dry and style as desire. Heat protects up to 425. I don't think that my hair dryer is that hot. I don't have like super ultra professional hair dryer that could possibly get anywhere near those temperatures. And I try never to put it too close to my hair to prevent it from getting too dry. Like I said, it is getting a little bit dry right now, partly because I just dyed it. Um, it was getting a little bit too light, so I dyed it and uh, can't really tell. It's sort of got like reddish highlights there so that is it for ipsy glam bag this month it's uh I do like this bag um like i said i'll be maybe posting some pictures of the stuff that i got for the january bag along with this video um i wasn't really happy like i said with the video from january so i'll try to put it in there or maybe i'll write a blog post on it i'm not really sure i'll try to see what i can pull from that video go take a look at it again and see if it's manageable uh, i hope you guys enjoyed the video i am as always interested in seeing what you guys get in your ipsy glam bags be it for this month and previous month whatever it is go ahead and post that in the comments below and if you want to be notified of all my future videos which are kind of all over the place they're either vlogs or they're unboxings from ipsy or um loot crate Soon I'm going to be doing an unboxing on a new product. Um, I got... Somebody contacted me on Instagram, and you might be able to see it if you follow me on Instagram as well. Something called Soul Theory. Let me pull it up really quick. 
So they're a subscription box for eyewear and jewelry and I think some makeup. Let me see if I can find the subscriptions here. So they have multiples. It can be his or hers because, you know, it's eyewear and it's not exactly interchangeable. And you can get either a uh, single pair of just eyewear or a jewelry accessory or three beauty products. All of this goes along with the eyewear or a box of two pairs of eyewear. Uh, or they have a lot of stuff. Or a his and hers box or a single pair with two jewelry accessories. I don't yet know what I'm going to be signing up for, but... As soon as I do sign up, I will be doing an unboxing and I will be posting also a code be um, in the description once I put that video out that will entitle you to a discount on that as well. And as always, um, while I have agreed to be a brand ambassador for Soul Theory, I will always give you my honest opinion. I am not going to sell you on something that I think is not good quality or that I think is not worth it. The subscription box is on the higher end of the prices, like just the pair of eyewear is $12.99. Which is overall not that terrible if you consider i feel it puts it in the price range of um if you go buy accessories at a place like charming charlie or claire's or something so it's not super expensive um it's still like not sure you could get cheaper eyewear if you go to the dollar tree you know um but I won't be able to truly judge the quality of it till I get the box in my hands. So until then, I'm reserving judgment and I will let you guys know what I think of it. Uh, stay tuned for that video. Like I said, I'll try to get signed up and I'll put all the information for that when I get there. So thanks for watching again. I'll see you later.